They may have grown up and left home, but someone is still having to pick up after them. Every morning over the last week, Dunedin's Castle Street, plus other roads in the student precinct, have been littered with discarded rubbish and broken glass, presumably by students of the University of Otago. It's 10.30am, and last night's destructive revellers are still fast asleep, leaving the area almost deserted, but the evidence of wild parties remains scattered along the footpath. Timothy Tang, an exchange student from Hong Kong, is not impressed. I'm from Hong Kong actually, I'm an exchange student. Um, Hong Kong is much more cleaner and yeah, we, we can't see rubbish being all dropped over, yeah, this feels bad. Tang feels that nothing can be done about the state of the street. There's full of parties in the castle street and I can do nothing about it because uh, there's party over everywhere in every night so um, I hate rubbish and parties but yeah it feels bad though yeah. Another young person who did not want to be identified thought the situation was fairly normal. So um, this is uh, Castle Street and uh, this kind of thing's been going on for a long time here and so I reckon it's probably it's probably all right if it's not causing any any harm out of like just the people that live here. I don't know. Like, it's just uh, yeah, it's just the way things have been for a long time, I guess. However, something is being done. Dunedin ratepayers are funding through the city council a high frequency of street cleaning by contractors plus special cleaning of roads and footpaths when the City Council is alerted to issues such as broken glass. And in conjunction with the University plus the Students Association, the City Council have had a presence at Orientation's Tent City and mailed out an educational package to many student flats. Anecdotally, there may be less rubbish than used to appear on the street in previous years, but the amount is hard to quantify. Rudy Adrian, the South Today.